Yeah, so I bought a couple cheap um, LED park ends uh, just to kind of throw in the mix for whatever gigs that come up and just thought I'd take a quick video, uh, show them off. They're pretty bright. They are, I think, it's the brand GRBR or something like that. Got them off of Amazon. They're about 50 bucks a piece. Um, see them here. They're both running DMX mode. Uh, they have several automatic modes and sound reactive mode. All pretty good, I guess, uh, for what it is. But of course, I want to drive it with Touch Designer. Right now, I've just got two two pixels kind of moving through the rainbow, and um, I'm using the Lixata USB to DMX adapter, which is uh, off of Amazon, twenty dollars. Didn't have a lot of hopes for it at first. Um, had a lot of trouble, but apparently, UDMX, which is the the DLL or library it uses or driver it uses requires um, another utility that you have to run. It's an app. Uh, I forget the name of it. Let's see right here. Actually, I've got it running. Uh, it's called UDMX Node. And you can grab it from this bright and colorful website here called elutzmination.de. Uh, I put all the links for this stuff in the description, but yeah, once you get this set up, pretty much the defaults work for me. Um, then over here in Touch Designer, I pretty much, um, again, nothing crazy. I have have my, um, my color channels and my necessary information. <clears throat> These are five channels a piece, and then I just extended the rest. I guess I didn't really need to extend it, but I did anyways. Uh, and then it's sending it to net zero, subnet zero, universe zero. Um, and the network address, it's, since it's USB, it, it wants it to be localhost. Uh, in my case, I just typed in 255, 255, 255, 255, and it seemed to work. Um, just out of curiosity, though, let's see if it works with 127001. Uh, no, no, it doesn't. What about localhost? Uh, nope. Sounds like 255, 255, 255, 255 is the only way to get that to work. There we go. It's back in business. Yeah, um, as far as responsiveness goes, pretty darn responsive. Let me uh, just quickly disconnect this. And that's not supposed to be flashing. Let's see what's going on. Ten. Okay, in that case, let's just do that. All right, zeroed everything out. Uh, as you can see from the glare on the screen, fairly responsive. Maybe a few frames late, but um, maybe not. It's hard to tell. Um, but yeah, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty darn good. So yeah, that's it's all wonderful. It's got this particular one, like I said, has red, green, blue, and white. So that's all it's got, which is fine for me. My first um, actual stage lights, so. Nothing crazy, just wanted to test them out and give them a whirl. Those are the whites. Um, just how bright they are with everything maxed out. They are um, pretty bright. Of course, camera phone's really hard to tell. But anyways, that's it. I'm going to cut off the video and I'll put links in the description if you guys want to know how to set stuff up with that driver. It's pretty cheap. Uh, took some finagling though. All right, see ya.